Hi, Dr. Lim here. In our past few videos, we are talking about in the beginning, the pastor did not agree to Mr. and Mrs. Chong for practicing Sun Yang. After discussing with him, eventually the pastor was okay with the practice. Over the year, we did discuss with some Ustaz, the religious teacher in Islam, about the practice of Sun Yang. They also agreed Sun Yang did not interfere with the belief in Islam or interfere with the practice of Islam. So basically, it's okay for the Muslim to practice Sun Yang. Similarly, in India initially, some people accused Dr. Savera brought in some foreign teaching, which is against the Indian culture. That is very funny. Sunya was originated in India, and how can it go against the Indian culture? Indeed, against any culture in the world. So, initially, uh, so finally, uh, Dr. Savera was able to convince the accuser that the practice of Sunya is okay for Indian and the Hindu too. Even myself, some Buddhist teacher always accused me of teaching against the practice of Buddhism because I rejected many offers of setting up the statues of Buddha in Sunya Center. I told them, first I preached nothing. Sunya is not a religion. And in Diamond Sutra, it is clearly spelled out that worshipping the body of Buddha is unwanted. And the teaching of Buddha is not Buddhism. This is even not easy for many Buddhists no, to understand. But that is not our problem. There are many Buddhist sunyati in our sunya practice. We never forbid them to go to the temple to pay respect to Buddha. Only in sunya, we do not build temple or any religious building. We only build community halls for all people to come and to serve the community. We are neutral in the practice. We do not go against Buddhism or do we promote Buddhism as a religion to replace the religion of sunyati from other beliefs. In Sunya, we have no temple, no statues, and no mantra. Temple here means any religious building, do not mean specifically the Vihara of Hindu or Buddhist. However, we never ban any Sunyati to go to the temple, to the church, or the mosque to perform his religious duty. We also never forbid the Sunyati to pay respect to the Lord of God. Similarly, in any religious practice, uh, there is some chanting or religious ceremonies or prayers. It is up to the sunyati to practice what ought to practice in his or her own religion. Sunyati is not a, sunya is not a religion. We did not replace any religion, religion in the world. Similarly, we also never promote any violence to destroy the temple, to bomb the statues, or forbid any religious practice that involves chanting or prayer. We never interfere with any religion in this world. There was one sunyati, she is a Muslim, and promotes sunya in one Islamic forum. And immediately, someone criticized her of bringing an Islamic practice into Islam. She remembered some of the sunya talks for me and asked the person who criticized her. When there is nothing in the air, and you see a ghost, no, it's floating there, moving here and there. Is there something wrong with the air, or something wrong with the eye? Everybody agreed, there's, some, there's nothing there, no, and you see something, that is illusion. And nothing wrong with the air, but it's something wrong with the eye. In Sunya, we teach nothing, you know, to go against any religion. We do not talk about enlightenment or any achievement in the practice of Sunya. There is nothing in it that goes against the teaching of Islam or any religion. Then you see something in it and criticize it is un-Islamic. Is there something wrong with the practice of Sunya or something wrong with the mindset of the critic? Of course there is not something wrong with his mindset, which is not the fault of Sunya. Just as some Buddhists do not understand the teaching of Diamond Sutra and say that our practice is non-Buddhist. As we never put our statue of Buddha in our Sunya practicing press, there is nothing you know, un-Buddhist in the practice of Sunya but something wrong with their mindset. I have a friend who is also a Muslim. One day he married second wife and told me that. I asked her whether she discussed it with his first wife or not. He said, no, nope. was going to bring the second wife to stay in the same apartment building so that the first wife discovered it by herself. I told him, this is absolutely a crazy idea. 
when the first wife found out, then she may be shocked. And, and World War may be erupted. I have seen a few DXN leaders now, marry second wife now, and both the wife quarrel until he has to stay in the hotel now, as both of them chase him out from the house. But my friend insisted on his decision and brought the second wife to stay in the apartment building as the first wife. Finally, the first wife found out and immediately she fell sick and was uh, hospitalized. After that, she was always sick and had to visit the hospital very frequently. She never quarreled or argued with my friend. So my prediction of World War did not happen. But when my friend visited her in the hospital, she always claimed my friend looked happy. My friend told the wife, you always fall sick now, and how can I be happy? The wife insisted that she was happy because if she died, that he would live happily with the second wife. When he visited the second wife, my friend visited the second wife, she also complained and nothing was right. Eventually, my friend plunged into deep depression. Then he could not take care of his business properly. His business turned from bad to worse and failed. She visited me in the DXN office and looked doomed. So when he told me someone applied black magic on him because he's so ghost in his house, immediately I scold him of talking nonsense. I told him to apply black magic is not cheap. No? And people have to spend a lot of money to, to ask some idiots no, to cast ghosts on him. If this is happening to me, and maybe it's logical, and I'm having some money, you know, and my business is going okay, maybe the competitor feels jealous and apply the black magic. I raised my voice and, and told him, no, you are going to bankrupt. Uh, who cares no, to spend money to cast ghosts on you? I may not be kind to him uh, by, by raising my voice, by words uh, to, to him, but he is in deep depression. No? If I agree to his funny idea of seeing the ghost, uh, that may aggregate, aggregate him further. I told him, there is no ghost in the air. But he was suffering from depression and started to, uh, to hallucinate. No? That is very serious. She told me what to do now. I asked him to practice the reverse counting in Sunya and take a lot of RGG and Spirina to strengthen his body. After one week, he met me again and said the reverse counting was very effective. All the ghosts were gone. And for the first time in his life, he could pray to Allah with a focused and serene mind. He asked me, May you know who invented and taught this practice of Sunya? I told him it is from Buddha. He, he turned excited no, and jumped up from his chair and exclaiming, Buddha must be the Nabi, the prophet sent by Allah to this world. Oh, I immediately stopped him no, for making such a statement. Buddha never said uh, he was a Nabi or prophet. He only said he is uh, the Tathagata, meaning the teacher to us. You should not claim that he is a prophet. As the religious department will go after you, you know, and you will be in big trouble. I explained to him the basic concept of Sunya and the nine no's. Again, he made the statement that Buddha must be the first Muslim in the world. <laughs> Again, I asked him you know, not to make such statement as it may offend uh, some people. You know. Eventually, he agreed Sunya is not a religion. He practiced Sunya and become much better. Later, he brought his second wife to meet me. I advised her. A peace no, in a family uh, is the most important thing in life as she should be peaceful with her first wife. Eventually both wives submit and discuss and the family become peaceful again. Please do not quote me from saying that I promote polygamy. You know. Then your second wife should be peaceful with your first wife and form a happy family. You know. If you want to marry the second wife, uh, marry at the own risk. It has nothing to do with the practice of Sunya. In Malaysia, many Muslims uh, like Sufi and practice Sufism. Some of them came to see me and say, can they claim Sunya is Sufism? I told them Sufism is a religion and Sunya is not a religion. I do not associate Sunya even with Buddhism or any ism. No. Sunya is a neutral practice 
It actually enhances the practice in your religion. But, but please do not label it and associate with any religion. By now, you should understand that Sunya does not go against any religion or promote any religions. So we only promote peace and prosperity. Nothing else. So, see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.